Hi, it's Katrina. From corkscrew shaped casings to doting fathers who incubate hundreds of eggs in their mouth, here are 13 of the weirdest animal eggs. Number 13. Skate. Have you ever seen a dark black pouch on the beach? Known as a mermaid's purse, these are actually egg casings for some species of sharks and skates. Skates look a lot like rays, except they do not have spines and tend to be much smaller. Skates release their embryos in leathery egg cases that sometimes have long tendrils on the corners. Depending on the conditions, the embryo may take weeks, months, or even years to develop as it feeds on the nutrients within the case. When the baby emerges, it looks like a miniature version of its parents, and it's off to fend for itself. It's hard to determine if the mermaid's purse belongs to a shark or a skate, but if you manage to see a live one in the ocean or at an aquarium, look closely because you will be able to see the baby inside as it grows. One of the most bizarre of these casings has to belong to the ghost shark. You would definitely be able to recognize this one if you saw it since it looks like something from the movie Alien. This is probably the strangest mermaid purse ever. Number 12. Ants. A princess ant becomes a queen after mating when she is ready to start her own colony. During the mating process, a male provides a female with all the sperm she will need for the rest of her life, and she will be able to fertilize her eggs whenever she wants. Her first task is to find a proper nesting site where she lays as many as 300,000 eggs, often to the tune of thousands per day. The eggs that she chooses not to fertilize will be male ants, and undernourished fertilized eggs will become female workers. She has the ability to also decide which eggs are destined to become future queens, who will someday branch off and start their own colonies. Pretty powerful stuff. The queen determines the future of everyone in the new colony. Number 11. Argonaut. The Argonaut, also known as the Paper Nautilus, is not quite a hero from Greek mythology, but a very unusual type of octopus. Females spend their lives drifting in translucent shells that they make themselves. Like many octopus species, females are much bigger than males at up to 17 inches long versus 3 quarters of an inch long. Females can also be up to 600 times heavier. Another major difference is that females have a fragile translucent shell, also called an egg case or a paper nautilus, formed by a chalky substance secreted from two of their dorsal fins, while males have no shell, but are equipped with a detachable, tentacle-like, sperm-containing reproductive organ called a hectocotylus. When Argonauts mate, the female will accumulate these sperm arms over time and uses them to fertilize her eggs, which she lays in long strings inside the egg case. She squeezes in too. She then takes an air bubble and uses it to determine how much to float. That way she can protect her eggs and travel at the same time. They will also hitch a ride with jellyfish or attach themselves to driftwood to get around. Researchers have never observed a live male specimen, leading them to believe that they die after mating. As you will see, other octopuses lay their eggs in caves, and this house-slash-shell creation is very unique. Number 10. The Kiwi While this egg might look ordinary, it possesses one particularly extraordinary quality, its size. As you can see from this x-ray, the female kiwi bird lays a bigger egg in proportion to her body size than any other bird on Earth. Each egg occupies up to 25% of her body weight and measures as much as 20 centimeters. It is about six times larger than the average egg of similar sized birds. To give you an idea of just how massive the kiwi bird's egg is, this would be like a human giving birth to a four-year-old child. Toward the end of the egg's development inside the mother, it becomes so large she can't even eat. That's why she eats three times more than she usually would beforehand. Researchers are unsure why this species lays such a huge egg, but the newest research is that the large egg means that baby kiwis hatch ready to run, with enough yolk that they can survive for two and a half weeks without their parents. Number 9. Jawfish In this case, it is the male who carries the fertilized eggs around. The jawfish is known as a mouth brooder, meaning that dads-to-be fertilize eggs and carry all their offspring crammed in their mouths until they hatch. That's quite the mouthful. This lasts for several days to several weeks, depending on the species. Jawfish are usually only seen from the head up, with their bodies embedded into their burrows, and when a human approaches, they will usually retreat out of sight. Catching a glimpse of one caring for their eggs is a rare treat. Every once in a while, a brooding male opens his mouth wide to rotate his eggs, which aerates them and keeps them clean and hydrated. Once the fry or the baby fish hatch, they swim off on their own and are independent, although they tend to remain in the same area as their parents. 
Their father, who cannot eat the entire time he's mouth brooding, then spends time feeding to recover from being underweight. Number 8. Squid Squid eggs have been described as a giant mass of mucus. Captain Nils Badness and diver Ronald Rush with the research vessel REV Ocean discovered a strange, undulating balloon blob in the waters off of Norway. Turns out it was a giant mass with tens of thousands of eggs. Different squids produce different shapes of egg masses, with some measuring 4 meters or 13 feet across. Humans rarely witness squid eggs because they are usually laid in deep waters, and they only sink further down from there ultimately reaching depths of around 150 meters where the babies hatch. Other types of squids, such as Gonatus onyx, carry around 3,000 developing embryos around for up to nine months. Scientists had never seen this squid's reproductive habits until recently. While this squid is very common, it dives down 2,500 meters to lay eggs. It is the first squid observed to do this. Number 7. Deep Sea Octopus most octopus species have a single reproductive period and then they die. The mother octopus painstakingly weaves her eggs into strands and hangs them up in a cave or a crevice. Then she sits and guards them for weeks, months, and sometimes even years. During this time, she keeps her eggs clean and filters the water over each one. The giant Pacific octopus can lay tens of thousands of eggs in her one and only brood, and they are only millimeters long at hatching. The deep sea octopus known as Granilidone boreo pacifica might just be one of the world's best mothers. In April of 2007, an ROV expedition headed by Bruce Robeson from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute spotted a lone female, 1,400 meters below the surface. They returned to the same site 18 times over the next four and a half years, and every time they spotted the mother octopus covering her eggs. She never left and didn't eat for the whole time. As she became a ghost of her former self, her eggs grew bigger. The last time the team saw her was September 2011. In October, she was gone. Her eggs had hatched, leaving tattered capsules attached to the rock. She spent 53 months total, the longest brooding period for any animal. Number 6. Hoopos Hoopos are beautiful birds admired by civilizations for thousands of years. Females lay eggs that come out a milky blue shade but soon turn brown. Researchers discovered that the eggs take on their mucky brown tone because the female coats them in a bacteria-riddled liquid she produces using her preen gland. This oily secretion, which birds normally use for cleaning and waterproofing their feathers, changes during breeding season. The substance turns dark brown and takes on the odor of rotting meat, a great defense mechanism too. It's this material that coats the birds' eggs and transforms their color. The hoopo secretions produce antibiotics that keep feather-eating bacteria away and also protects their unborn young. Number 5. Caecilians It's not a snake and it's not a worm. Caecilians are a type of legless, mostly blind, serpentine amphibians that grow between 3.5 inches to 5 feet long. They have tiny eyes, which experts think are mostly only good for distinguishing between light and dark, and are so slimy and slippery some researchers liken trying to grab one like trying to grip a wet bar of soap. Most of them give live birth, but some lay eggs, which look like tiny, transparent marbles. They range from pink to cream to brown, and you can actually see the little Caecilian developing inside. Mothers guard the eggs, and certain species have an unusual way of providing nourishment for their young, who feed off their fat and nutrient-rich outer layers of skin which replenishes every three days. This is pretty weird, but it works! In less than a week, Caecilian babies are ten times their original body size. Number 4. Emu As the world's second largest living bird, emus reach up to six and a half feet tall. These flightless birds who are endemic to Australia lay gigantic two-pound eggs, roughly the equivalent of around a dozen chicken eggs, so if you want to have an omelet, be sure to share. These eggs have a stunning bluish emerald color, making them one of the most beautiful eggs on the planet. This color helps to keep them hidden from predators in the grasses where emus typically lay their eggs. It takes around eight weeks for eggs to hatch, and the five-inch chicks can usually walk on their own within minutes. Number 3. Horn Shark The horn shark is found in warm, temperate, and subtropical waters of the Pacific Ocean. The nine horn shark species are among the 43% of sharks that lay eggs rather than give live birth. They lay distinct cone-shaped eggs with spiraling tendrils hanging off the bottom. Mark McRouther from the Australian Museum has seen his fair share of shark eggs. His favorite is the crested horn shark egg. Without the black tendrils, it looks just like the Port Jackson shark egg. 
Mark says that when the Port Jackson shark lays an egg, she picks it up in her mouth and screws it into rocks and crevices to anchor it so they don't wash away. This screwing motion gives the egg its distinctive shape. Each egg is left behind to develop on its own, with the embryo inside feeding off of a nutrient-packed yolk sac. The embryo isn't immune to predators, however. A certain type of sea snail, called a whelk, will use its proboscis to penetrate the egg and suck out the yolk. But if the egg case manages to avoid this fate, the embryo will hatch after 7 to 10 months, when it's finished consuming its yolk sac's nutrients. Another very bizarre-looking egg is the drought board shark egg, which is orange with bright tendrils. Number 2. Green Lacewing Green lacewings are a type of flying insect famous for being excellent biological control for common garden pests. Adult females lay their eggs on top of leaves, in batches of as many as 200, by attaching them to a half-inch tall, hair-like filament one by one. This hopefully protects them from being cannibalized by their larvae siblings. Actually, many gardeners welcome these insects into their gardens not because the adults eat pest species, but because their babies do. In fact, only some adult green lacewings feed on insects, period, with most preferring nectar, pollen, and honeydew, and often requiring these foods in order to breed. You can actually order a bunch of lacewings online if you need some for your garden. Larvae, on the other hand, immediately go on a feeding frenzy the moment they hatch. These predatory offspring emerge hungry and are eager to feast on pests using their large, hollow jaws and paralyzing venom to seize their prey. These babies are intense. Then, the jaws suck out the pest's bodily fluids, liquefying the prey in as little as 90 seconds. In just one week, each larva will consume as many as 200 pests and pest eggs. It's this voracious appetite that makes green lacewings a preferred guest in orchards, greenhouses, and crops. Number 1. Whelk The term whelk encompasses various types of large, predatory marine snails who occupy really pretty spiral shells. There are several true whelk species, including the lightning whelk, the largest and most common type, which grows up to 16 inches long, as well as the knobbed and channeled whelks. Female whelks lay long strings of eggs in a spiral-shaped casing that reaches up to 33 inches in length, which they anchor to the sea floor. By doing this, she prevents them from hopefully being swept ashore and drying up in the sun, although of course, it happens sometimes. There are up to 200 pouches in each strand, with as many as 99 eggs within each pouch, which is filled with embryonic fluid that nourishes the developing embryos. The unborn babies are developed into the earliest stages of their shell by the end of spring, and when they're ready to enter the world, they puncture through the case and emerge into the water. Thanks for watching! Which one was your favorite? What other weird aspects of the animal kingdom would you like to learn about? Let me know in the comments below! And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you later! Bye!